Welcome back to this channel for Practice Problems for Actuarial Exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel with practice problems is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible, at least to the extent allowed by law, donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. Um, for exam P on probability, you are given that probability of A is two-fifths, probability of A union B is three-fifths, probability of B given A is one-fourth, probability of C given B is one-third, and probability of C given A intersection B is one-half. Find the probability of A given um, B intersection C. And here's the solution. So we have the probability of B given A equal to one-fourth, but that's probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. And based on what we know about probability of A um, being equal to two-fifths of 0.4, um, that's equal to 5 over 2 times probability of A intersection B and therefore probability of A intersection B is one-tenth. And then based on this we have the probability of A given B intersection C which is what we're looking for. By definition of conditional probability this is probability of A intersection B intersection C divided by probability of B intersection C. And then we can write the top as probability of C given A intersection B times probability of A intersection B, again based on definition of conditional probability, and the bottom we can write as probability of C given B times the probability of B, uh, again based on uh, definition of conditional probability. And for a moment we'll leave the uh, numerator uh, as is, and in the denominator uh, we write um, probability of B as probability of A union B minus probability of A plus probability of A intersection B. That's from the formula for the probability of a union. Probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. And therefore probability of B can be written as probability of A union B minus probability of A plus probability of A intersection B. And now every single piece in this formula is given in the problem. So and this becomes one half times one tenth. Well actually one tenth was just calculated for the A intersection B. We just calculated it but we know it know it now, so we use it and we plug it in and this becomes one-half times one-tenth divided by one-third times uh, three-fifths minus two-fifths uh, plus one-tenth and after we calculate all that this becomes one-half and therefore that's answer D. Please remember this is copyrighted material, the problem and the solution were written by me. All rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited.